In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect your WhatsApp account to your AI agents inside of N10. I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up, how you can use it. And finally, we're going to build a full personal assistant AI agent with it as well. And in case we haven't met, my name is Michele. And just over the past 12 months, we've helped over 40 businesses implement AI and automations and taught over 20,000 people in the process, all starting with zero technical knowledge. With that being said, let's dive in. All right, so here we start with a blank canvas. And if you press add a first step, we're adding the trigger. The trigger is the first step of the automation. I can look for WhatsApp here. You should see the WhatsApp business cloud. I can press here and now you have different options. In this case, let's just do on message, which means that we're now waiting for a message to come through to the automation for it to start the actual workflow. And up here, we can go to connections. We can create a new credential. And in order for us to be able to connect our WhatsApp to N10, we need a client ID and client secret. All right, so for us to get the client ID and client secret, we have to go to business.facebook.com. Let me get to this page right here where you will see your own business account. And in case you don't have a business Facebook account, you can go here, top left, and you can create a business portfolio and you can put your details and you'll see this right here. Now, once you have this in place, you can go down to settings right here and you will land on this page right here. As of right now, I'm logged in with my personal one. So I can just go back here. I can go to the business portfolio to make sure that we are in the right page. And now you will see a page that looks like this. Once you're here, you can go down to apps and you can press create a new app right here, just add. And you can press create a new app ID. It will take you to this page right here. You can press create an app. Now you can put your name. You can put test and attend. Leave this email as it is. This will be the app contact email. Just press next. The use case, just put others and go all the way down to others. It's fine. Now we can put business because this is a business account. Now this will give you the overview of everything that we just did. So you can press create an app and you will have to put the password that you have for Facebook. And once you have finished this, you'll get on this page right here. You can then go to WhatsApp here and press setup. And once we get to this page right here, you can go to app settings, you can go to basic. And now here's where we'll see the actual secret and you will see the ID of the account that we need. One's here and one is here. So I can just copy this. I can go back to N10. I can paste this here to client ID. And then come back here, show. So you have to copy this exact key and never share with anyone. You can see for your security, do not share this with anyone because they will have access to your account. Go back here, put this in a client secret. And name it whatever you want. So Michele connection to press save. And now you should see a green tick. And if you don't see this, make sure you run everything step by step. Once you have this, you can go out and now we have our account connected, but it's one more thing that we have to do. And when we go to API setup, we then have a access token, which we'll use in just a second. And now that you have your account connected, we can start building out the agent. Now we're not going to run it just yet because we do have to do something else as well. But this right here will be the receive message right from the chat. Then we can do here is we can press AI agent so we can start adding different steps. Leave this is leave this here. We can just connect this to a chat model. So this is the brain of the actual AI agent. Leave this here. We can do memory later. Then for the tool, we can go here and put Gmail tool and we can connect our account by going here. You can press sign in with Google. Once you sign in with Google, it will take you to this page right here where you have the connection set. You can put set automatically message, which is the thing that we are manipulating or changing. Then send is the action that we're doing. Then we're letting AI actually define this, we call it parameter. We're letting AI say, hey, who are we sending the email to? What is the subject line on the email? And finally, what is the message of the email? And now in theory, well, an AI agent has an input, but it also has an output. And so the last step here of the AI agent would be WhatsApp. And so this now goes to the next step, which is sending a message back. So if I go to send a message here, message actions, this is what we have to do in order to actually finish off the AI agent. So we receive the message and now we have to send the message back with the confirmation of whatever it is, just like a typical chatbot. Now, the reason why this is different is because when I go here and I have to create a new connection, this will ask me for an access token and a business account ID. And in order for us to get these two pieces of information right here, we can go back to Meta. We can then go down to WhatsApp. We can go to API setup. And right here, we can see that we have the access token, which we'll use. And then we have the from number and we have the to number. So from is where are we getting the actual message from? In this case, we are using a test number. But if you're looking to put this to production and actually set it live for a client, you have to go here and press add a phone number and you can fill these out to make sure that you actually have a tangible phone number to use. And now we have to set the two number. So who are we sending the email to? Now, in this case, I can already see my phone number because I already connected it to it before, but you only have the option to add a phone number. And so when we go here to add a phone number, you can start putting your phone number here with the actual country code as well. And you can press next. And this will now connect your current phone number 
to the meta here. But this right here is my personal phone number. You wanna make sure that you don't use a personal phone number and you use a business phone number that is not related to the one they use currently right now because it goes against the meta rules, which is something that in other tutorials, they don't actually say. So make sure that you're not using your personal phone number that you're using to text other people, but you're using a different phone number, which is more related to business. Now, once this is done, we can go here to generate access token. This will take us to a page that looks like this. We can press continue as Michele. We can then opt in for all current and future WhatsApp accounts. This is fine. Press continue. You can press save here. I don't know why the actual screen looks like this, but yours probably look a bit cleaner. And you can press got it. When going back, you will see the access token here. You can press copy for the access token. You can go back to N10, paste this here, then go back here as well and you can copy the WhatsApp business account ID. Once you copy this, you can bring it back and you can go to business account ID. And now you can put your name. So Michele connection two. And when you press save, you should be able to see the actual connection tested successfully. And now what I can do is for the resource, we put message, which is a thing that we're using. In this case, the action that we're taking is sending a message. The sender phone number or ID, you can actually use a dropdown, which will give you the test number. Or what you could do is go to expression, do this, you can go back here and you can actually copy the phone number ID, which is this one right here, but you can see the select option as fixed. And then the recipient phone number will be your phone number. So I just added my phone number here and make sure that you do include the country code. The message type will be text and the text body, let's do hello one, two, three. And now I can go here, I can disconnect this and just test this step right here, execute step. And this should now have sent a message in my WhatsApp. I can see here that I have the hello one, two, three. Let's say I wanted to test it one more time. Let's say I go here and I say, how's it going? I can press execute step. And this will now send the next message here. How is it going? Now that we have this connected, we can start playing around with the actual AI agent. So I can go here and I make sure that I have the trigger and let me actually test the trigger just on its own. Go to WhatsApp and I can say, hey there. And what this will now do is it should send this message here. And if I go here, I can see that I have the display phone number ID, phone number ID, the contacts, the WhatsApp ID, the from ID, the ID in general, the timestamp. But then the thing that we actually care about is the actual body text which is the thing that we feed into the AI agent for it to know exactly, hey, what does the user actually want? So the next step here is to connect this to the AI agent. I can go inside here. I can change this to define below because right here, we're gonna put this across the actual body, which is what the user is asking us to do. And now by having this here, we can have a full working AI agent. Make a simple AI agent prompt for my N8N AI agent uh, that just drops emails. And the tool that it needs to use is to call the send email email tool. Yeah. Make sure to basically say like, ask the user if like he didn't give it like the topic of the actual email and also the, who are, who are sending the email to. All right. So inside the AI agent, I actually made the prompt, which is this one right here, where it has an overview, the tools, which in this case would just be a tool, which is used just to send an email as an example and some rules as well. And then the current date and time. And now I can also add the memory. Now the memory is so that the AI agent actually remembers the previous conversation that we had. So it has context and you can put simple memory and make sure to go here turn this to the fine below. And the key is something that you can get from here. So messages from pull this across. So now we're able to remember the previous conversations as well. So let's test this from scratch. I can execute workflow. I can go here and I can say, can you send an email to michele.torti at gmail.com saying that we got a meeting tomorrow at 4 p.m. I can press go, I can send it through. And what this will now do is it will send it over to the automation. It will start thinking about the task. Then it will actually do the task before sending back a message saying, how's it going? Of course, I actually didn't change this. I should change this to the actual text body, the output of the AI agent, which says the email to Michele has been sent confirming the meeting scheduled for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Is there anything you'd like to do? Okay, so let's actually pin this and this as well. And we can run this and now it should give us the actual text. The email to Michele has been sent confirming the meeting scheduled for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? And on my emails, I can see that I have meeting reminder to so just a reminder that we have a meeting scheduled for tomorrow at 4 p.m best regards. So it actually took action using our WhatsApp account. And let's test this again. I can say, how's the weather in Spain? I can press go. This will now think through the AI agent. It wouldn't take any action on the email because there's no draft email. And it says, I currently don't have the live weather information X, Y, Z. So congrats on now connecting your WhatsApp to your NITN's AI agent. Usually we use Telegram or just the native chat feature instead of NITN, just because it's a bit of a longer process. And typically WhatsApp has restrictions on the accounts, the volume that you do. So make sure you keep that in mind when connecting your accounts. And if you want a full AI agent that I built out today, then check the second link down below in my free school community. If you want to dive deeper into NITN, then definitely check out this short video, which is 12 hours, uh, where I show you everything that you have to know about building AI agents and AI automations inside of NITN. With that being said, I hope you find value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.